What's good, guys? So we are live once again. So as I was saying to you from the other day when we opened up them 50 Pokemon booster packs, we had a very good stream. Um, I think we got about 80 views in like one day, so I was very happy with that. So I bought some more Pokemon booster packs um, about two weeks ago. I bought this uh, triple ballista pack just in case the boosters that I bought off the internet didn't arrive. And um, I just ended up with this turning up. It was available for me to collect since Friday. I picked it up yesterday, I'll be honest. I could have opened it up yesterday, but I was really tired as I've had a really busy weekend. So I decided not to. I ended up playing GTA yesterday, um, GTA Online, for like maybe five or six hours. So yeah, it was a it was a long gaming session, but I enjoyed that. Shout out to Rap, shout out to Leech as well. I was playing with both of them. If you want to add them up, go and check my previous stream out. But uh, yeah. We're going to open up this one today and hopefully we can pull something decent. We've got three Ultra Prison Sun and Moon booster packs to open up. Um, we have the Alolan Vulpix as the promo card as well. And we also have the, is it Palkia or is it Dialga? Let's have a look. Uh, Dialga, not Palkia, I don't think. Yeah, Dialga. Um, and I've also got a load of code cards from the other day that I'm going to cycle through just at the end just to make sure that all you lot have used them. And a shout out to Passerby as well. I was really, really happy to um, find out that someone from the Philippines actually takes time out of their day to watch my content. That really meant a lot to me. And shout out to all of my UK subscribers. Obviously, I'm from the UK. All my USA subscribers. And I actually have a population of a lot of people in India who um, actually watch my content. So shout out to all you guys. <laughs> So we're going to open this bad boy up today. There's three of you watching, so I want you guys to decide which one should I go for first out of these three. Should I go for the left? Should I go for the middle? Or should I go for the end? So let me know. So it's either Solgario, Garantina, or Leafion. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know which one you want me to open up first, and I will open that bad boy up first. So I got this on eBay and it cost me, I'm trying to think how much this cost me, £8, I believe, which is a lot cheaper than how much they sell these in stores. If you buy these like on the high, off the high street, they'll cost you like 12 to 13 quid, which is definitely not worth it. So make sure that you always buy them online because you're more likely to get a better deal and always buy from like a reputable source. Check If you're going to buy anything on eBay, my big tips to you guys would be check their ratings. I don't buy anything of anyone unless they have like a 98% sell rate. Um... And yeah, check their ratings, whether they've been a good seller. And just go from there, really. Just use, use your head. Oh, so we've got another we've got another code card. Just there. We'll give that away at the end of the video. So first of all, we have the Alolan Volpix promo card. I've got several of these. Two attacks, one of beacon. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. And Icy Snow, which does 20. Um, it exhales air colder than 58 degrees, minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Elderly Pokemon in Alola call this Pokemon by an older name, which is Kyo Kyo. Pretty cool. And ooh, where's that coin gone? And obviously the Dialga coin, another one to add into my collection. I have quite a few of these now. Three booster packs to open up. Let's put them into order of how they were. So it was Solgario first, it was Garantina, then it was Leafeon. Um, do you know what? I'm going to choose this one first to open up. Let's see what we get out of this one. If you like Pokemon, go to www.pokemon.com to check out all the latest and greatest products. Also, you can use these code cards as well for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon which is only available on the 2DS, 3DS, 3DS XL, and the 2DS XL for Island Scans. Island Scans is basically a way that you scan the QR scan codes on these um, TCGO code cards. Once you scan 10 of them, you can then reveal the um, location of a Pokemon in your game that wouldn't normally be in your, be in your game, whether that be because it's a Pokemon that's not normally found in the decks of the game that you're playing, or it'll be a Pokemon that is found in the decks of what you're playing, but it will just have a different ability than usual. So let's uh, open this bad boy up and see what we get. 
Hope you're all enjoying your Monday. I am because I've actually got a week off work. So I am really enjoying my time off at this moment in time. So let's start this bad boy off. We have first card is a Pasmian. Uh, they battle with hard berries for weapons. Their techniques are passed from the boss to the group, generations upon generations. Rock type, 110 health points. Now we have Shinx. All of its fur dazzles. If danger is sensed, it flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. So it has a very good way of getting away out of sticky situations. 60 health points, and that's an electric type Pokemon. And that is a Flash Pokemon as well. And, oh, just to let you know, the last one was a Teamwork Pokemon. So we have a Carvine, which is a bug catcher type Pokemon. It binds itself in trees. It marshes. It attracts prey while its sweet-smelling drool gulps them down. Ugh. And we have a Murkrow. As seen as a symbol of bad luck, it's generally disliked, yet it gives presents, objects that sparkle or shine to trainers it's close to. It's basically a magpie. Like, imagine a witch and a magpie, and you put them both together. Um, shout out to my partner as well. She's just got it now. So we're going to play the game of Guess the Energy. What do you think the energy is going to be for this? There's an energy card in every pack. So, like, water, fire, electricity, um, fairy. Fire. You're going to say fire, okay. I'm going to, you said fire, I'm going to say electricity. Okay, so we have Magnemite. This is actually one of my favorite Generation 1 Pokemon, and it's so easy to make. It's so easy to draw as well. I used to draw these a lot because you're basically just drawing two magnets, a circle, and three screws and an eye. Um, obviously, it's a magnet-type Pokemon. This is, has 60 health points. It sends out uh, electromagnetic waves, which lets it float through the air. Touching it while it's eating, electricity will give you a full body shock. So you don't want to do that. Whoa! What? I've never bought this one. So these are some of the... Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to get very happy, guys. I've just seen the corner of the next card. Oh, my. Whew. All right, let's read this first of all. So, Garantina. This is an Ultra Prism card. Uh, you have, so, Prism Star rules. You have more than one Prism Star card with its same name in your deck. If a Prism Star card would go to the discard pile, put it into the uh, Lost Zone instead. Ability, Chaotic Star. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, during your turn, you may attach two Psychic-type energies from your hand to, to it. It has 160 health points, being a Psychic-type Pokemon. Um, it has an attack of Crisis Dive. Discard two energies from this Pokemon. It was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the discussion world. Are you ready, guys? I'm so happy for this one. Are you ready? Boom! Look at that. Look at that card. Two beautiful cards in one pack. That has literally just made buying this whole thing worth it. I spent eight pound and I pulled these two cards and I've still got two packs left to open. But actually, I got the promo card and these two cards. And I've got that. Well, okay, I'm not really, I don't really care too much for this coin. But this has definitely been worth it, guys. Damn. Leafy on GX. Whew. Very happy with that. And the guarantee in a prison card. So let's read this Leafy on GX, shall we? Leafy on GX, 200 health points, obviously grass-type Pokemon. Ability, Breathe of the Leaves. Breath of the Leaves. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon once during your turn, before your attack, you may heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has an energy attached to it. Solar Beam, 110 attack, and Grand Bloom. For each of your bench Pokemon, sorry, for each of your bench basic Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it into... Uh, uh, from each of your bench base yeah. For each of your benched basic Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it into that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. That is a beautiful card. Um, uh, 13 out of 156. And Garantina is 52, 58 Sorry, out of 156. Very happy with that. We're just going to put them to just by there to one side. We were both wrong. It was a rock-type energy. Damn. Okay. 
Gabites. Uh, dragon type Pokemon. It's a cave Pokemon. Shiny objects. Uh, it's passion. It can be found in caves. Uh, scarily moving. It's gaze fixed on jewels. It's a mask. Oh, carbink. What? It's a mask or carbink if it has caught. Hmm. Look a whistle. Prinplup. Evolution of Plup. Lup. Um, it's a penguin type Pokemon. It lives a solitary. Um, lives well, basically. It lives alone. Its wings deliver wicked blows, and it can snap even the thickest of trees. And of course, that all important code card for you guys. So this is the first code card. So you need to go to www.pokemon.com forward slash tcgo to input this code card. Or as I was saying to you, if you have a copy of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun or Moon, you can scan this by going onto the QR scan code screen and scanning this code. If you guys get anything decent out of these, please let me know in the comment section down below. And um, well, it's just nice to know what you guys actually pull from them. So two more booster packs now to open up. We have the Garantina and we have the Leafeon pack, which I'm very happy with because we actually pulled Garantina and we pulled Leafeon in the very first pack. So next up, we have none other than Garantina himself, the boss of the Distortion World, the big bad. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Oh, I'll give this away now as well. There you go. There's another code card. That's the code card that come with this triple ballista pack. Like I said, leave a like on the video. And just let me know in the comment section down below what you actually pull from these online in one um, trade card game online, as I would be interested to know what you guys actually get from these code cards. That's two code cards I'm giving away now. I've got two more code cards to give away. I've got a big stack of them that I'm going to go through at the end of the video as well. So if you stick around to the end of the video, you guys could end up with something really, really cool. Anyways, another Pokemon boost pack to open up. If you like Pokemon, go to the video. If you like Pokemon, Pokemon, you need to stop paying me, man. I've been saying that for so long. Okay, okay, let's start this off. We have none other than Sneasel is the very first card, which is a Sharp Claw Pokemon, 70 health points being the darkness type. It uses its claw to poke holes in eggs so it can slurp the slurp out the insides. Breeders consider it a scourge and will drive it away or eradicate it. Wow, so it's really not liked. Magnemite, once again, like I was saying previously, one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 1. Magnet type Pokemon, it sends out um, electromagnetic waves, which lets it float through the air. Touching it while it's eating will electrify you and give your body a full body shock. Cherubi in this knitted design. I really don't like these ones. Um, Cherubi Pokemon, Cherub, um, Cherry Pokemon number 420, grass type Pokemon, 50 health points. It evolves by sucking energy out of small balls where it has been storing nutrients. Boneri, which is a rabbit-type Pokemon. When it senses danger, it perks up its ears. On cold nights, it sleeps with its head tucked into its fur. 60 health points, and that is an energy-type Pokemon. Hippopotam, Hippopotamus, which is basically a hit, hippopotamus. Um, Hippo-type Pokemon, of course. Rock-type Pokemon with 90 health points. It enshrouds itself with sand to protect itself from germs. It does not enjoy getting wet. And it has some really cool abilities if you actually play this game, um, Pokemon competitively in any of the actual games. Trainer item escape board. Pokemon tool. Attach a Pokemon to attach a, a Pokemon tool to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon tool attached to it. The retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is one energy less and it can retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed you may play as many items as you like during your turn before your attack nice rosaries so there wasn't anything decent in this pack um bouquet pokemon 100 health points grass type pokemon with the movements of a dancer it strikes uh with whips that are densely lined with poison thorns darkness type energy Unit energy. Romtom, my one of my favorite Pokemon that should become a legendary Pokemon because he's a boss and he helps you out so much. And he's a plasma type Pokemon, 70 health points. He is an electric type. Its body is composed of plasma and it, it is known to infiltrate um, electronic devices and wreak havoc. <clears throat> so if you've played Sun or Moon or Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, you will appreciate this Pokemon and all the things that he can do for you. The Roto Lotto, um, you know, him giving you hints, essentially being your Pokedex, being your guide. He's a really cool Pokemon, and I really like Romtom. Drift Blim. 
a blimp Pokemon, 110 health points, psychic type Pokemon. Even while under careful observation, large flocks of Drifblim flying at dusk will inexplicably disappear from view. And last but not least, we have a TCG code card for you guys. So as I was saying before, and go to www.pokemon.com to check out all the latest and greatest products. And if you go to www.pokemon.com forward slash redeem or www.pokemon.com forward slash TCGO, input this code once it's been input. These can only be used once, but if you're going to use them for island scans, they can be used once per day. So for the Pokemon trading card game online, they can only be used once. If you are using them to get island scans, you can use them more than once. Right. One booster pack left. Hopefully we can pull some of these. Earth. You think it's going to be Earth. Okay, so you think the energy is going to be Earth. I think the energy is going to be Fire. So let's see who's right. And if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on post notifications because that way you'll be informed of when I upload new content. The reason why I uploaded this video and didn't tell any of you when I was uploading it was because you got 50 the other day and I thought, you know what, if anyone just might happens to see this video, um, they're more likely to actually get a code. So, Scorpion type Pokemon, 80 health points. It's a Mystic type Pokemon. It burrows under the sand to lie and wait for its prey. Its tail claws can inject its prey with a savage poison. What a nice Pokemon. Licky Tongue, original generation one Pokemon, which just looks very weird. What, what would you, you like the look of that? No. Huh? 100 health points, energy type Pokemon. And it's a licking type Pokemon. Um, its tongue is twice the length of its body. It can be moved like an arm for grabbing food and attacking. And you don't want to get licked by that. Um, has two attacks, one of lap up and the other of slam. Then we have Chimchar, which is a fire type starter from which generation? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's a Chim type Pokemon with 40 health points, fire type, of course. This The gas made in its belly burns from its rear end. <clears throat> the fire burns weakly when it feels sick. Ugh. So basically, it's got toxic fumes coming out of its backside. Lovely. Um, Pasmian, teamwork Pokemon, 110 health points. Rock type. Uh, they battle with hard berries for weapons. Their techniques are passed from the boss to the group, generations upon generations. Baneri, rabbit type Pokemon, 60 health points, and it's a normal energy type Pokemon. When it senses danger, it perks up its ears. On cold nights, it sleeps with its head tucked into its fur. Carados, which is a very cool Pokemon, actually evolves from a fossil, an unidentified fossil. It is a headbutt Pokemon. It basically looks like a small T Rex or something, or a small dinosaur. 90 health points, rock type Pokemon. It's rock layer. It in rock layers where Cranodox fossils can be found. The fossilized trunks of trees snap in two and are often found. So basically they like breaking stuff. Oh nice, we've got Frost Romton. I know it's not special or anything, but I actually like these different versions of Romton because I I, I I like Romton as you all know. Plasma Pokemon. 90 health points, water type, um, has an attack also of Frost Crush. Its body is composed of plasma. It is known to infiltrate electronic devices and wreak havoc. Then we actually had a fairy type, so we both were wrong. We both actually messed up. Cranodos again. Hold on, we got two in the same pack. We got two of the exact same card as well. Let's have a look. I'm sure we did. Oh, maybe we got one previously. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, we did. We've got the shiny version and we've got the normal version in the same pack. That's weird. Um, not going to read the whole spiel of that again because we've already gone through that one. Pokemon Fan Club, Supporter Card, and Monferno, which is the evolution of Chimchar, which is a generation starter from which generation? So this is a playful Pokemon. has an attack of Super Singe. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burnt. Um, it uses ceilings and walls to launch aerial attacks. It's Fiery Tail is but one weapon wow a health points a fire type pokemon of course and last but certainly not least that all important code card for you guys so let me just line them all up just to make sure that you got them all okay so that's three Ooh. there's three code cards and i will show you the last the final code card as well and then we'll run through all the ones that are just to one side, just by there. So there's three. 
it is four. And yes, I know you've been staring at them the whole time. You ready? Okay, let's begin. Leave a like on the video, guys, if you have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on post notifications and ring that bell if you are on mobile devices and press all because that way you'll be informed of all the different content that comes out of my channel pretty much each and every single day. I've been playing a lot on my PlayStation recently. I put a lot of hours into GTA 5 last night. I was doing some heists with some friends and some other people that I've met online recently. Um, but today I will probably play GTA later on this evening. But this morning I am going to be playing Crash Team Racing. As soon as this video is over, I'm going to set that up. And me and my partner will probably just play Crash Team Racing online for a bit. And then we might do it two player. I don't know. But as I was saying, if you guys have all enjoyed this video and you like this sort of content from me, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment in the comment section down below as well on this video or on one of my recent videos if there's anything that you possibly want me to do in the future. And if you are out on Twitter, you can add me up on Twitter. My name is General underscore Music. I have polls on there. And I normally tweet about like the new things that are going to be coming out on my channel and stuff like that. So that is a good way to get hold of me, which is on my Twitter at general underscore music. I'm also on Instagram as well. My name is GMG News, the same as my channel name on YouTube. You can also add me up on there. <clears throat> and if you have a PlayStation 4 or you know anyone who has a PlayStation 4, you can add up my PlayStation um, membership. And my name is General underscore music. That's G-E-N-E-R-A-L underscore M-U-S-I-C. Add me up on there. And um, I play Star Wars Battlefront, GTA Online, Crash Team Racing, <clears throat> Tekken 7. There's a few different games that I have been playing recently. Also, I do play Pokemon Go as well. I can't think of my user off the top of my head right now. But if you look in the uh, description section of this video, it is listed there, so you can add me up if you want to play Pokemon Go. I don't play it as much as I used to, I'll be completely honest with you, but I do still play it every now and again. And I play Animation Throwdown as well. If any of you guys actually play Animation Throwdown, let me know, because I'm looking for more people to add into the clan that I'm currently part of, as I want to just have more players that play the game at a regular rate. But they're pretty much all the games that I have been playing at this moment in time and i just want to say a big thank you to each and every single one of you guys taking time out of your day to watch this video it means the world to me i hope you're all enjoying yourselves and that's pretty much it um like i said you'll just you'll get some gameplay from me later today at some point and that will pretty much be it so let's run through them final four just to make sure that they were claimed and then that's the end of this video guys like I keep saying, if you've enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, and I will see you all in another one very, very soon. Let's just run through what we pulled today. So today's pulls out of three booster packs. So this came with the Triple Ballista itself, which is a promo card, the Alolan Vulpix. We pulled a Carados, a Trainer Skateboard item, a Garantina Prism card, and a leafy on GX. So I don't think we did too bad. Not bad for spending £8 on the internet, where normally you'd buy them in store for a triple blister pack, and it can cost you up to £15. So I think today I did pretty well. And not to forget as well, also we got the um, this playable coin as well for the game. So I think we did pretty well for what I spent. For what I got, I ended up with four code cards out of that box because you also get a code card for the box itself. Um, I ended up with pulling them four cards. And obviously, the coin itself comes with the boosters that I bought. So, yeah, I think I did pretty well. You let me know what you think of my pulls in the comment section down below. And I will be back very, very soon in another video. And I hope you have all enjoyed watching this. If you guys want me to open up more Pokemon packs um, in the future, then just let me know by leaving a comment in that comment section down below. And I will see you all in another video very, very soon. I've been GNG News. You guys have been my lovely audience. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are going out in the UK, please wrap up warm because we're still getting battered by Storm George at this moment in time. So it might be very windy where you are. 
Have a great day, guys. See you all soon.